It didn't take long to find the missing Delhi Sasquatch. The thieves who snatched the 400 pound concrete statue known as Squashy apparently had a change of heart. They brought him back, almost. Local 12 Joe Webb has the happy ending to the search for Bigfoot. Squashy, the 400 pound concrete Sasquatch that likes to play dress up, is home. In one piece and wearing a new outfit. A smart green Sasquatch sweater with a distressed Reds cap. My wife told me I have to go to Capitals now and uh, get a Thanksgiving outfit. <laughs> get a pilgrim hat and maybe a, a muzzle loader or something, you know, and dress him up for Thanksgiving. Squashy was not in costume when thieves snatched him late Friday or early Saturday morning, but he often is dressed to match the season or Spence family events. News of his disappearance rippled through social media and onto Local 12's airwaves yesterday. Ralph Spence's plea apparently warmed the hearts of the Grinches who threatened Christmas on Wilkie Drive. Whoever stole Squashy returned him to a vacant lot less than a block away. And one of Ralph Spence's neighbors was driving by and saw him and gave him a call. They hauled him back to Ralph's driveway but didn't have the muscle to put Squashy back in the flower bed. A note tucked into his new sweater added a parting shot. To whom it may concern, Squashy only required two of our members for transport. Sincerely, the bodybuilding bandits. P.S. Happy Holidays. If it was only two people, it was two big people. And it was kind of funny. It shows that uh, they had a little good sense of humor with the whole thing and kind of goes with the idea that they may have been out there uh, goofing around in the middle of the night and took it as a, a break. Ralph Spence says he and his sons will lift Squashy back into the flower bed today. Next spring, they will anchor his big feet in concrete to keep his fashion show off the road. In Delhi Township, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. <laughs> I like the green sweater, but I think you need some pants maybe. Anyway, police had opened a theft investigation after the statue, statue disappeared, but as far as police are concerned now, the case is closed. If the bodybuilding bandits do come forward, they are not likely to be charged with any crime.